Aesop's The Tortoise and the Hare Welcome to Living Books. I'm the tortoise. And I'm the hare. And this is the story of how I beat him in the race. It all began one day when the tortoise was lying around, not doing anything, and I was trying to help him get moving. Ah, gotta go. See you later. <laughs> to find out what really happened, you'll have to hear the story. To have the story read to you, click over here. To play inside the story, click over here. Okay. Good evening. I'm Simon, your storyteller. Tonight, I'm gonna tell you one of Aesop's famous fables. Are you ready? Here we go. This is the story of the tortoise and the hare. The tortoise was a friendly fellow who moved at his own slow pace. Good morning, birds. The hare was a busy person who was always on the move. Hey, Slowpoke, what are you doing? At your speed, it'll be lunch before you finish breakfast. It will not. Well, I'm late. Gotta go. One day, they ran into each other on the road. Wow! <laughs> the hare couldn't understand how the slow-moving tortoise could accomplish anything. What are you doing here? I'm listening to the birds sing. What a boring life you must have. At the rate you go, how do you ever get anything done? Well, I plan ahead, and I don't waste my time. Well, you're wasting mine. The tortoise and the hare met again that afternoon. Are you just lying around again? I can do a hundred things in the time it takes you to go two blocks. Oh yeah? Well, I go pretty fast sometimes. The hare challenged the tortoise to a race. Well, if you're so fast, I dare you to race with me. Uh, all right. Okay, you're on. Be sure and show up. Ooh. Are you really gonna race the hare? Yeah, I guess I am. And so a date was set for the race between the tortoise and the hare. Everyone was excited on the day of the big race. Ooh.
the hare was busy making sure everyone noticed him. Hi, glad you could make it. Glad you could come to see me win. I'll see you at the finish line. Would you get the trophy ready for me, please? The tortoise could hardly believe that he was going to race. I'm going to do my best to give you a good race. Get ready. Get set. Go! <laughs> the hare was winning easily. He knew he was faster than the tortoise. The tortoise knew it also. But he would try his very best to win and not rest until the race was over. Ice cream! Hey kids, get your ice cream! <laughs> Strawberry! Chocolate! Vanilla! The hare was so far in the lead, he just couldn't resist showing off some of his favorite moves. Soon the hare was way ahead. He couldn't even see the tortoise. The hare was getting very hungry, so he went to find something to eat. He was in such a hurry, he didn't even eat breakfast. The hare knew a garden where there was plenty to eat. The hare doesn't know there's more to eating than just swallowing. The tortoise was keeping up a slow but steady pace. There were many obstacles he had to get over. Gotta keep going. After eating, the hare felt very tired. So he decided to rest, just for a little while. He immediately fell asleep. The tortoise was surprised to find the hare sleeping. He walked by very quietly. Shh! He's sleeping. Thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. He's dreaming he already won. The tortoise was nearing the finish line when the hare awoke. He sprinted, trying to catch the tortoise. But the hare was too late. The tortoise won! Yay! 
Hey, I was supposed to win. <laughs> The slow but steady tortoise had won the race. Everyone cheered. <laughs> Except the hare, who couldn't believe he'd lost. Good race, hare. Congratulations. And in the end, the moral is... The journey is the reward? Don't act like such a big shot. Always eat a good breakfast? No, no. It's slow and steady wins the race. Oh! Goodbye, everybody. Bye. 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 Hey, taxi. <laughs> And that's the end of our story. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again next time. So long!